Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. Um, the baby is sleeping, and I guess I don't have to whisper. I'm kind of whispering. Um, I did something amazing. It really is amazing. If you guys haven't been playing around with the Stupid Easy Bagel recipe, which is posted in the description above, you can just click on that and uh, see the basis of the recipe. I have been craving a very bread-like taste in my uh, Stupid Easy recipe. So the recipe that is linked above is for the bagels. You can use that for biscuits. You can use it for... Uh, I have no idea what that sound was. Hmm. Anyways, uh, we make the bagels in the bagel tins and in that blog post, the bagel tins are linked there for uh, for Amazon. So you can go grab yourself some. I would get, I would get like three or four. I'm gonna order more because these are so amazing and they're super fast if you haven't made them. If you've made the stupid easy bagels, give me some, yeah, give me some, some hearts or some likes. But what I did, I wanted to, instead of doing a savory bagel, which I've been doing for probably a couple months now, maybe two or three months, so I'll do like the everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's, which is also linked in the blog post. Uh, I'll do lots of garlic and butter and make it real savory. But I really was craving peanut butter toast. And I don't know if you guys ever like had buttered toast growing up, but we would make toast and then put butter on it and maybe put like a slice of cheese and have it kind of melt on top. Or we would do just a little bit of peanut butter on top of the butter. And I know that that back then, that was like carb and fat crazy. But we like a little bit of the natural, let me show you what we got at Costco. This is really great, this organic peanut butter. I know it's backwards, sorry about that. The organic peanut butter and the carb count's not bad because of the fiber. There's three grams of fiber and uh, seven total carbs. And so what, that's four, four net carbs. Anyways, and I know that some people on keto, they don't respond very well to the legumes in the peanut butter and that's fine. This recipe works great with almond butter. You can do sunflower butter, cashew butter, have fun with it. It, I just, my mom was coming into town. I was like, man, we used to do peanut butter toast all the time. And so I made this. You guys check this out. It is so good. Um, it gets like the peanut butter gets all melty and that's the bagel. So you take that stupid easy bagel recipe, but instead of adding Colby Jack or cheddar or Parmesan cheese to the mix, you do all mozzarella, okay? So that's the number one hack. All mozzarella if you want a very mild flavor. And then what I did is I probably put, I, I sprinkled, I didn't really measure it, but I put about three tablespoons worth of flaxseed. You can get that at Trader Joe's, you can get it on Amazon. Um, I'm probably, I have a link somewhere on Amazon, uh, Amazon link for you in the blog post. So you can do flaxseed and that gives it just a more hearty texture and flavor. You could probably even sprinkle in maybe like a uh, half a tablespoon of psyllium husk if you need some more fiber or if you're struggling to be consistent, if you know what I mean. You know, um, TMI, it's totally fine. But what I did, and there's two different ways you can do this. Now, I'm a breastfeeding mama and I've been breastfeeding my son since he was born. And one of the ways for me to in increase my milk supply is using Brewer's yeast, brewer's yeast, okay? But anyone can use this because it's really high in fiber and it has a very yeast taste. And I think that's what I was missing in some of these recipes. You could actually, I've actually seen other people get the like Fleischmann's, Fleischmann's uh, dry yeast. It's not gonna raise your bagels because it's not um, the wheat flour, but it would give you that, like that yeasty, flavor. Anyways, so what I did is I put one tablespoon in like a, I think I made a triple batch of the bagels. I might have just done the normal um, batch. I can't really remember. I made 12. So whatever. I think the recipe on my blog, it's Monday, you guys. Yay. <laughs> Brain is still trying to wake up. Anyways, I put a little bit of yeast. So what it looks like here, let me grab. You could just do like a little sprinkle. Ooh, sorry about that. Play around with this, the Fleischmann's Rapid Rise. It's not gonna rise, but you can get that yeast-like flavor. 
And then um, I use the Anthony's Brewer's yeast, and it's not gonna like affect you if you're not breastfeeding. But if you're breastfeeding, toss a little bit in, it's great. Anyway, so I did that, so I did the mozzarella, I added the flaxseed, and then I added that brewer's yeast. So you could do a little sprinkle of the, the Fleischmann's yeast. And then I, I added the tiniest little bit of erythritol. Because you know how bread just kind of has that sweet, it's a little sweet? I just added maybe, probably a quarter of a teaspoon, maybe half a teaspoon of erythritol, and you can play around with that. So I didn't want it to taste overly sweet, but I just wanted it to have just that little bit of texture. You guys, it is like bread. So my mom got into town. Um, she just left. She uh, was here to watch our son because it was our anniversary. So we did our first night away and it was so special. You guys, it was so special. And I set her up for success. I, I am a scheduler. I don't know if there's some people that are just kind of like free spirited and they just like live, you know, just like as the wind blows them. I am not that. I need a schedule. So I wrote her down our detailed schedule for our son. But anyways, we had just such a great time. But I made these for her because I knew how much we like the peanut butter toast. So we used maybe, gosh, not even half a tablespoon of the peanut butter. And I think I just heard my baby starting to stir. But I put, uh, I toasted it in the toaster. And then I put a little bit of butter and a little bit of peanut butter. And it tastes like bread. So I know a, a ton of y'all have tried the recipe and you've told me it's a game changer and it's just so helpful. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of creativity. If you're like me and you've only been doing kind of one flavor scape, I've only been doing the bread rounds uh, savory because we like use them for pizza, we use it for the bagels, we use it for sandwiches. This was a really fun addition that is super simple. You probably have most of those things in your cupboard. Um, you can just go get, you don't have to do the brewer's yeast. I just did that because that's beneficial for me and it's so tasty. So if you haven't tried them yet, I encourage you. There's the reason they're called stupid easy bagels is because they're really stupid easy. And I've had a couple of y'all who have told me, oh my gosh, I've waited so long to try this recipe and they really are stupid easy. Thank you so much. And I don't know why it took me so long. So it's taken you a, a little bit to try them. You can whip them up under 10 minutes. They take about 10 or 11 minutes to cook in the oven. So under 30 minutes, you can have a really, really yummy breakfast. They're great for um, sandwiches. They're fantastic for like we do breakfast sandwiches, like a fried egg. Anyways, tell a friend, share this video. If you have been doing keto, whether you're brand new or you've been doing it for a while and you just want something to taste like bread, it is so good. Next, I'm gonna be experimenting with some pumpkin bagels for fall. And I want to try a pumpkin loaf. If you guys did not see the um, video my mom and I did over on her page, Ask Nurse Cindy, we made some, oh, you guys have to see this. She's so good at what she does. Um, we made some granola and we posted, look at that. I'm gonna go get some almond milk, some unsweet almond milk because I want cereal. And it's so yummy. So we posted the video over on her page, Ask Nurse Cindy, you can pop over there. And we also made some pumpkin cream cheese muffins. It's like a muffin cake. It's like a muff cake. And it's made with coconut flour, which is great for those of you that do have tree nut allergies and you can't handle the almond flour. And the texture, I'm not a big coconut flour fan, but it's really good. So anyways, I hope you guys are having a great Monday. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. We had such a special time for anniversary. Thank you for all of you that wished us well and congratulated us. We feel really rested, feel really refreshed, ready for um, this week. My husband is in a training program for his job and study, study, study. He's, oh, hi mom, yay. Oh yeah, sorry about that wardrobe malfunction with Noah. <laughs> Um, anyway, so pop over there to Ask Nurse Cindy, see what we were cooking up over the weekend, and let me know if you have given this bagel hack a try, because it is such a game changer for me, because it really tastes like bread versus a very savory. And that is my cue, because my baby just started crying, he woke up from his nap, so I will see you guys soon. Um, comment below and let me know. Uh, what are some of your fall favorites that you would like me to start experimenting in the kitchen? 
and I cannot wait to uh, play around with some pumpkin spice recipes. So hope you guys are having a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.